I currently am the manager of the core laboratory and outpatient specimen collection area at the Hamilton General Hospital. And so my role is to manage those areas. I think back about 20 years ago, I was at a convention for medical laboratory technologists and one of the speakers there was John Lafferty and I had heard of him through the Hamilton program and I thought I gotta go to that lecture so I went and I was totally inspired I thought here's a technologist he got up in front of hundreds of people spoke about one of his passions which is hematology and I think it was beta thalassemia and I thought wow he spoke so clearly so eloquently and uh, I thought what a role model for others in the profession. John has a very positive attitude. This is demonstrated on a daily basis. We're faced often with many decisions and challenges to work through. And John has the unique ability of looking at a problem, breaking it down into small pieces, and on a very factual basis deciding on how we should move forward. He has been a mentor to me in that regard and is a very positive role model. As far as his personal life goes, John has also been faced with a challenge, especially during this past year. He was diagnosed with a serious illness. However, in spite of that, his positive attitude has really carried him through. I know that all of us here at work wish him a full and speedy recovery and we're really looking forward to the time that he can join us back here at work and we'll work towards our goals. John's a, his contributions to research have really been quite remarkable. He's done a number of things which are really important. I think the first is he's actually had an independent research career, has sought and held independent research grants, which is very unusual for a, someone who is not um, uh, an assistant associate or full professor in the faculty. Uh, in addition, John's provided a very valuable um, input into a whole bunch of other research projects. Again, uh, these expert scientists we have at McMaster are able to provide us with support for research projects which probably wouldn't exist elsewhere because people just don't have the degree of content knowledge. Finally, John actively contributed to the um, quality management program in Ontario called QMPLS um, or before that LPTP. He actually chaired one of the really important committees there and as a result of that um, he changed and improved the way that we diagnose and manage uh, hemoglobinopathies and other hematologic disorders in the whole province, all of the laboratories in the province. Uh, part of that has led to him being a much sought after speaker, so in fact he actually has spoken at national and international conferences as well to convey some of the knowledge that he has learned through the course of his research and helping others to do their research. I guess my philosophy is, you know, I'm a member of the community. Um, I've been very fortunate in my, in my academic and work life that I've attained a profession that I absolutely love. Um, and so, you know, it's very important that I, that, I, that I use the skills that I've gained in my professional development to give back to the community. So for a while I was chair of the Hamilton Children's Choir and I was able to use some of the management skills which I've gained through my management experience but also through courses that I take at Mohawk. When I start to think about it, virtually every uh, continuing education or education opportunity they've had after high school has really taken place at Mohawk College. So they've given me my basis in the career as a medical technologist. They helped me with advanced courses to get my advanced certification. Um, I've been a teaching technologist with Mohawk both at the clinical level and also in the continuing education uh, program. So I really am uh, appreciative that getting this award has made me realize what this institution has done for me um, and allowed me to give back to the community.